Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews on Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, I want to take you back and take a look at a game very dear to my heart and review the remake of that game today. Developed by Sega AM7, the Sega Genesis masterpiece, Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, was released in 1990. My cousin brought over their newly purchased Sega Genesis with games like Altered Beast, Golden Axe, Ghouls and Ghosts, Strider, and of course, Castle of Illusion. I was pretty blown away with all the games at that time, never looking back at the 8-bit Nintendo again. The games that I really got my attention in playtime were Castle of Illusion and Strider. I played those games over and over again since beating those games were so addicting. It was the first time I really felt amazed by the art and animation in a video game that made me feel Mickey was really with me and the rest of the Disney gang. Fast forward to 2013 with Sega Studios Australia making the remake of the classic of the same name to be released on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, iOS, and Android. The remake follows the same gameplay style found on the Sega Genesis and remains a side-scroller with 3D elements thrown in at times. The design and visuals have been updated to the era standards and still hold up today. The animation is fluid and every character is recreated to have a believable look and feel that you're in a Mickey Mouse cartoon. The colors are alive and vibrant that you're in awe in consideration of how the remake was taken care of. While Mickey travels to find and rescue Minnie Mouse, which is the basis of the story, Mickey will have to deal with more platforming in 2D and 3D, puzzle elements, and collecting a lot of crystals and unlocking future worlds. The action is fairly simple, like the original, with Mickey either throwing objects like apples to the infamous bounce attack like Mario. You will avoid, dodge, memorize enemy attacks throughout the game in order to get further and further. The 3D platforming and boss fights are probably the hardest parts of the game. You will need to look at Mickey's shadow when landing in the 3D segments in order to get a feel on how much distance there is in making the correct jump. You will repeat boss battles multiple times memorizing their patterns in order to defeat them as well. The only con I have in this game is the game's actual gameplay and control of Mickey is very very loose and a bit too reactive. I never thought I'd say that but it's too smooth and unwanted movements get you hurt more or plunging to your death many times. I was a bit bothered also that you can't skip cutscenes, especially when you're ready to fight a boss battle again and again. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, the remake, gets an 8.0 out of 10. For what the game tries to do in the remake, does the original source justice with great visuals, expanding on the lore with cutscenes, and an old school gameplay brings out the quality the team was striving for. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. He didn't have long to wait. A gigantic red licorice dragon emerged from the melted ice cream. This was the fourth Master of Illusion. Damn. Uh.